Welcome back to the raised bed vegetable garden and I am in day two of fall planting. I hit day one, it must have been a week ago. We had some issues at the house, I had some neck pain. I didn't get back out here until this very moment to try to kind of clean up another one of my beds and get some things in the ground for fall. What I do know is I have some potatoes that I have been sitting, letting sit on a windowsill. These are like little small, what are they called? Uh, they're new potatoes, but they're called, um, oh, why can't I think? Yukon Golds, but thank you. So I have some Yukon Gold potatoes that I got at my local farmer's market. And I'm going to try to put them in the ground and see if they will just overwinter and if I will get a harvest from them. I don't really know if I will or if I won't. This is more of an experiment for me. So I have some potatoes that I'd like to get into the ground. I also know that I'd like to plant some more carrots and I have a few more pea varieties that I'd like to get to. I think I'm pushing it with the peas in terms of planting, especially being the end of August, because a lot of these are, even though they're frost tolerant, I mean, this one's 70 days. So that's two months, two months and 10 days. That would put me in, you know, September, October, November. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> I get cold. Um, my last frost date is October 15, 16. So I'm gonna find one maybe that I can just do a few. This one says four to six weeks ahead of black frost. So I'm still okay on that. So I might try these Tom Thumbs in this little snappy crunch. Those are only 60 days. I think that feels like a better choice than this. I also can do some cool season herbs like parsley, cilantro, dill. I'm gonna plant some of those today. Um, and what else is on my cool season guide that I haven't planted or would like to plant more of? Chives, collard greens, dill, kale, leeks, lettuce, onion, oregano, parsley, peas, potatoes, radish, rosemary, spinach. Oh, spinach, okay. Potatoes, spinach, peas, carrots, herbs. That's what we're gonna do. Now I just need to find a spot. Okay, something else that I think I'm going to try. I can't find a parsley right now, but I have seeds in like five different locations, so <laughs> I'm not surprised. But I've been wanting to establish a per at least one perennial herb and or flower in each of my raised beds um, as like pest deterrent, but also pollinator attractor. And these chives from Botanical Interest say that they are perennial, full sun to part shade. So in early spring or late summer, I think I'm going to try a bed with these and just establish them, plant them now, and let them do their thing and see what happens. So let me show you what I have so far. I've organized our stuff, okay? I have our four potatoes. I have chives, cilantro, and dill, which I will be doing. I've got those here. Two different types of carrots. I'm going to do this um, Little Finger and then Culinary Blend OG from Pine Tree Seeds. I have Little Snap Pea Crunch Pea and I have a Tom Thumb Pea. I also grabbed out, um, I also have a spinach, just a regular, where did I put it? I also have a spinach somewhere. Oh, here it is, spinach. This one I just got at my local garden center. And I have a whole thing of lettuce here that I might, if I have some space, do as well today. So why don't you come along with me? I'll show you the places that we're gonna plant and we'll hopefully get this done before the sun goes down. Oh, <laughs> well, as I was just moving my metal trellis around, of course, I punctured my, <gasps> my drip tube, my main drip line tube. So I need to go find a peg to fill that in. But what I think my plan is, is let me show you. Okay, so I'm working in this front bed here. And this is going to get full sun until about two or three. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, where it looks just sparse and old back here, I'm going to plant a row of peas, and then I'm gonna do strips of carrots, and I think maybe some lettuce back here. Yeah, but how gorgeous is this? <gasps> These are a late planting sunflower. I have some more right here. Look at her, she's so cute.
my back left corner. As you can see, I have a huge tithonia still going. Some basil is still here and like a tiny little tomato is hanging on. So I'm going to do peas on the edge, the Tom Thumb ones that only grow 18 inches. Peas on the edge right here. And then I'm gonna do another row of carrots in the middle. barely made it in the nick of time. We did peas, carrots, potatoes, dill, perennial onions, carrots, dill, what else? Cilantro. I'm pretty sure I got it all done. Now it's just kind of waiting and seeing how it does. <laughs> 